We live in an age that is seemingly centered around pleasure and the satisfaction of our needs. Mainstream economic science assumes that humans are essentially egoistic pleasure seekers and markets are here to fulfill this longing. Are they? We have more possessions than our ancestors, but do we live a joyful life? Many of us suffer from mental health problems or have a sense that something fundamental is missing in our lives. We are also wounded by the destruction of natural beauty and perhaps irreversible damage to the earth. What is wrong then? Seeking pleasure? Or the way we seek? My name is Orsia Lákes. As an economist, social researcher and psychological counsellor, I was seeking an answer to this paradox. Weaving together science, ancient wisdom and the insights I gathered from working with individuals and groups, I developed the notion of sustainable hedonism. In this book, I'm inviting you to explore your potential blind spots, the strategies you perhaps take for granted, but may not serve you anymore. After inspecting the problem in the first part, I present an alternative approach to a good life. It is deeply rooted in our core values, and yet it does not exclude enjoyment either. I present how we can take action for our own happiness, not in an egoistic way, but connected to the ones whom we love, to our community and to all forms of life. The book describes how ancient Greek philosophy and modern psychology can inspire us what to do, how to act well. They can also teach us how to live well, in the sense of enjoying life to the fullest, while not becoming enslaved to our own desires. It is a path of inner freedom. We can learn to become both more virtuous and better hedonists. We can learn it intellectually, but also emotionally and physically, as they cannot be separated from each other. The last part of the book presents the laboratory of the flourishing life where we can explore the inner forces that support us and those that hinder us, and what we can do. Sustainable hedonism is a life strategy, accessible to us all, 